All right, this is Larry. So we're looking at like uh, 10 minutes to 11, plus or minus. And uh, we've been getting things fired up, getting things loaded. So you can see, so we'll start down here. So right now my controller is, I don't know if you can see that. But my controller is pushing right around 12 amps. I had it parked right on 10 amps uh, during the heat up to make sure, you know, after I brought the thing to temp and felt my temps coming up the column section, I bumped it, uh, you know, right on full power pretty much, and then I bumped it back down to 10 amps and uh, kept it there for a good half an hour. And uh, the thermometer at the top of the column was reading, you know, barely, barely 100 degrees. Uh, and of course things were quite warm, quite hot, too hot to touch, you know, down, down at the lower end of the, of the apparatus. So I bumped it up right now, I'm at 12 amps right now, and you can see that this, this dial indicator, it's not too focused right now, sorry, but this dial indicator is very, very sensitive. They're cool. I love it. So anyway, I'm on like 12 amps right now. And what we've done, and again, I'm sorry about the bad. So right now, the thermometer is pretty much pegged at like 168. That's what it looks like. 168, 169. So there's no vapor coming over. It was resting, like I said, it just barely below 100 degrees until I pushed the power up and let it climb a little bit. So I'm going to... I'm going to push this power up just a couple more amps. And then we'll go ahead and uh, watch that thermometer climb a little bit. I, I'm, I'm getting ready to start taking fours, really. And uh, let's see if it bumps. Looks like it's starting to edge. just a bit more might take a few minutes my deflagmators it's got a lot of water in it you know um, I really would have liked to have had a smaller one you know in hindsight I mean it does what I needed to do I mean if I hey if, you know I mean if I just push the power you know it'll go whatever you know but uh, you know I want to collect heads kinda of slow this is not just an experimental run I'm, I'm making liquor because I, I, I'm you know, I mean, I've been sitting on this batch for a while now, ready to run, so I don't, I don't want to booger it. Um, okay, it's still pretty parked right there at 168. But something's, something's going on inside the apparatus. Because I can hear them thumpers starting to sort of ramp up just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. And then also, I got some, got some activity happening in the uh, in the parrot. So something's going on. Getting ready to come over. So we're pushing like it's like right around a buck. 71 on the thermometer now. So I think I'm going to just bump it a half an amp more. Right there. And then give it a few more minutes. I really don't know how to film this thing uh, in a timely fashion so that you guys can get the feel for what's going on. I mean, I know a lot of you already sort of know and understand and have it in your brain. Okay, so it's... looks like it's like right around 171 and barely edging. I think it's gonna... I think it's gonna edge forward just a little bit more. And we'll be taking 
we'll be taking fours here in a little bit. Anyway, so that's where we're at. It's like 10 minutes to 11. And uh, I want to take uh, fours and heads kind of slow. And then I'll throw it back and let it re-equalize just a little bit. And then we'll get on with the body of the run. Anyway, alright, that's pretty boring stuff. That's all for now. Talk at, you, talk at you in a bit.